building your own chatbot website. Imagine the potential of having an AI-powered chatbot on your website, whether for personal or commercial use. And the best part? It's completely free. In this video, we'll be giving you an overview of what you'll learn in this hands-on project. This course is meant to help you learn everything you need to know to build a simple chatbot and then integrate it into your web application. Okay, so what will we be learning here? We'll be looking at what large language models are, and we'll be understanding how large language models are used for conversational text generation. We will explore how to choose the correct LLM for your context and your purposes. And then we'll be looking into what Hugging Face is and how we can use Hugging Face's tools to build our own chatbot and achieve our goals. So chatbots are very important in our modern day. Chatbots are used in both business to business and business to customer environments to help make everyday business functions run smoothly and efficiently. And uh, chatbot assistants also allow businesses to provide customer care when live agents aren't accessible. They allow for businesses to cut down on overhead costs and for them to make better use of staff time. Okay, so let's look at some use cases of chatbots. Chatbots can be used for looking up information from any given database or knowledge base. Uh, they can be used to collect customer information, identify potential future customers, and then prioritize follow-up actions to uh, generate leads. They can be used to check availability and schedule appointments. Uh, chatbots that have language translation capabilities can also assist businesses in maybe communicating with customers uh, who speak different languages, expanding global reach. Chatbots can also be used to conduct surveys, gather feedback, and uh, we'll leave it at that, but there are many, many more practical applications of chatbots. Okay, now let's take a look at some numbers. 1.4 billion people who use messaging apps are willing to talk to chatbots. Customers prefer texting. 66% of customers try to use the self-service chatbot option first. About 88 people interacted with a chatbot at least once during their online shopping experience. Most customers prefer speaking to a chatbot over a customer service rep. 62% prefer the chatbot, 38% prefer the rep. And chatbots can help businesses save up to 30% on their customer support costs. Okay, so chatbots are useful, but why would you even want to build your own chatbot from scratch instead of using a publicly available one such as ChatGPT? Well, there are a couple reasons. First one is usage. Building your own chatbot means that you have complete control over the usage terms. You are not limited by a third party provider's uh, terms of service agreement, and you're free to do what you like with your chatbot. The second is the price. Your savings might be quite large depending on the interaction frequency of your use case and how much resources your chatbot consumes. And another is privacy. So all the inputs and conversations that will be fed into your chatbot will be owned by you and only you. You will have full control over your data. You'll rest assured that sensitive user information or confidential company information will remain within your organization and won't be shared with third parties. And then finally, there's customizability. So by building your own chatbot, you have the freedom to tailor it to your specific context and you can configure how your model responds using system prompts, which are used to train chatbots on specific topics. All right, all right, now let's take a high level look at how chatbots work. A chatbot is an interface that lets a user feed input to and read output from a large language model. One well-known LLM is called GPT, which stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. LLMs are a lot like smart computer programs that have been trained on lots and lots of texts from different sources. They can understand and generate human-like language, which allows us to use them to create chatbots that interact with people, answer questions, and serve other commercial needs. However, model selection is a very important step in any application that uses large language models. Okay. Now let's take a look at some factors to consider when selecting a large language model. So licensing. 
when using an LLM, it's important to make sure that the license of our model allows what we want to do with our use case. We need to consider the size of the model as some models can be very large. For example, GPT-3 happens to be about 42 terabytes in size. We also need to consider the model's performance benchmarks and we need to make sure that our hardware is enough to run the model within reasonable time. And finally, we want to be sure that the data used to train our chosen LLM is relevant to our use case. Otherwise, our model might not give us accurate answers. Okay, so we've talked about building chatbots with large language models, but where do we actually find a large language model? Hugging Face is a leading provider of open source LLMs. These models are free to use and have been pre-trained on extensive datasets to offer the ability to efficiently perform tasks. However, it's important to carefully review the license associated with each model to ensure that they align with our project's requirements. Among the diverse range of available open source models, Blenderbot by Facebook AI stands out as an impressive option and we'll be using that in our project. Okay, so Hugging Face allows for users to upload their own models and for users to download models uploaded by other users or other companies. Hugging Face aims to become the largest hub for open source AI models. By harnessing the power of open source models like Blenderbot, we'll be creating captivating and helpful chatbots for your website. Without further ado, let's get started.